vlog. Here we are. So I finally got my coffee. Yay! It tastes so much better when it's a present from somebody else. I put it in my mug. So I put my Starbucks coffee, so my white chocolate mocha, I put it into my Yeti because this thing will keep it hot for a long time. And I'm like the slowest eater and drinker. So I need something that's going to sustain my coffee's temperature. So that's why I put it in here. Um, best thing ever. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I've missed you Starbucks. I actually had to go to two Starbucks. I went to the first one and there was this like huge line and I couldn't figure out why I was taking so long. And then eventually one by one, the cars went through the drive-through and then it got up to my turn. And five minutes later, no one like came on on the speaker. And then I saw there was like six cars behind me and I'm like, have we really been waiting for nothing? So I just drove, I tried to say hi, hello, and like make contact, you know, here in peace. Uh, I don't think there's anyone there actually at the window. So I just went through. Then I'd have had another Starbucks. And now Starbucks closes at 5 p.m. It's actually 3.32 in the afternoon. Um, you saw we had a quite a busy morning packing orders. It was kind of funny uh, while I was packing my uh, t-shirt store orders. Um, the link for my shop, to my Etsy shop, for that Ebony is actually gonna be down below this video. So if you are interested, check it out. Um, it's nice to look at. It's totally different vibe from what you're used to. It's so magical. So that's why it's separate because it's like totally different. It's not the same. At least I don't feel like it's the same. So anyways, what the heck was I talking about? Um, oh yeah, we're packing orders. So I was packing all these orders and literally as I was packing orders, people were buying. So I was filling the orders as we were packing them. So it turned out to take a lot longer than I expected. So, no complaints, I mean, I don't mind. It's actually like weirdly calming to pack orders. It's nice, it's a nice little break. I don't know why it's so therapeutic for me, but um, hopefully everybody likes what they got. And you guys got a little peek at some stuff that I have in my other store. Like I said, link for that shop's gonna be in the description. So you can go ahead and peruse over there. We also have an Instagram account, which is like currently dormant because I've been doing so many masks. I've been neglecting all my other social medias except for some magical because that's where I do most of my, well, that's where I'm doing all the mask sewing, let's be honest. So it's my main account. So that's that. Uh, I am currently ironing some fabric. I need to cut out some more men's fabric. Alexa thought I was talking to her. Did I say her name? Scary. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, cutting out some men's fabric. I finally purchased some men's fabric online. Like we had this conversation last night about how there's nothing out there. I had to go to like what's considered designer like cotton fabric. And luckily I went on there and I was able to shop um, on their sale. Thank God, because they usually charge like $20 a yard. <gasps> gasp like that is a lot for what I'm trying to do I mean it'd be different if the you prino know, if it was a project and I kind of put that into my budget but I didn't budget for like extra fancy cotton just you know normal cotton the same kind I use for everything I didn't expect it to be like designer cotton and I don't mean like designer like somehow the cotton feels better it's just that literally it's made by a designer like if you go buy Calvin Klein you're you know, your underwear, Calvin Klein underwear, <laughs> they're still underwear. Um, it's the same thing. It's just, I had to go to an actual designer <clears throat> who literally puts out like lines of fabric and they're really fancy and they always do this, like beautiful artwork and illustrations on them and they always do collections and they're always very thoughtful and put together and if you buy the whole collection, they coordinate and that's like a whole thing. Um, that's for like real fancy sewists which I would consider myself a real fancy sewist, but sometimes I'd like to go rogue and like to pick out my own fabrics. But it's really nice when you need to have something that matches and it's very uniform. You can just buy from something like a designer. So um, our dialysis patients are going to be getting designer fabric. So there you go. Um, hopefully they'll feel, make them feel as good, you know, make them feel like extra special um, when they have their masks on with their designer fabric. Um, 
so that was interesting. Put that order in. They actually shipped right away. Holy cow. I have n okay. Side tangent. I had ordered this weekend from Joanne.com. Do you think anyone's even tried to ship my order? No, what a joke. But I buy from designer place one, and then I buy from someone selling fancy fabric on Etsy. They both shipped this day. The designer shipped this morning. I placed my orders about three o'clock this morning. They already both shipped. Like, what is that? They're getting a five star review from me. That's all I can tell you. Five stars. So more on the masks, guys. And uh, I know you saw, I wanted to kind of show it off to you, but I already put them in the mail. Um, our beautiful receiving blankets. Um, I do have, like, I've been hoarding flannel for receiving blankets for little kiddos. I have a tub full. So if you're looking on my site and you're like, wow, we're really dwindling, it's right, because you're very right. I haven't been putting up new receiving blankets, but I have fabric, so. If there's something that you want, if you're interested in swaddle, or swaddle shopping, let me know. We, I will beautifully embroider a name for your baby on there. Or it's a really good baby gift. I like to give them as baby gifts with baby's name on it. They're really nice and it's a keepsake and they can keep it and that's something mom can pack up for later and one day down the road when they're older and grown and maybe having their own kids, mom's like, hey, here was your blanket. Beautifully embroidered by myself. So... Just let you know. Also, look at them at Etsy shop. Link in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to do that little notification bell because you'll get a notification every time I upload a new studio vlog. If you're following me on Facebook and Instagram, I hope you're following me on Facebook and Instagram um, so that you keep getting videos and like. If you like it, the more likes I get, the more I get bumped up, the more other people get to see it, and the more likely these places will be to show me to new viewers. Ooh, fancy. All right, so enough of the chit chat. I'm gonna get back to, uh, I need to cut out some adult men's. Ran out of adult men's really fast, which I had the most of those cut out. So I'm getting back to the drawing board. I'm cutting and I'm gonna prep some nose pieces and I'm gonna prep the little pieces that I put the nose pieces in to enclose them so that way it's nice and safe. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of cutting and stuff and then hopefully get this bad boy going. And let's see where the rest of the evening takes us. I just had my coffee, so let's see how far this feels gonna run. I don't know. I'll probably be tired by like 8 o'clock. Shh, don't tell my buddy. But I am so happy. This coffee's so good. I love it. Gifted coffee. The way to go. If you're ever wondering what to get someone, just give them money for coffee. It's the best. <laughs> 